conservation, um, it's, it's, part of, it's part of our lives. It's part of our tradition, part of our, our culture, and it's part of our, our upbringing. I'm glad they're looking at us that way. You know, down here, some people, some of us don't have the opportunity to have those projects like that, you know. So that's the main purpose of it. So I think I could recommend these to the other ranchers so they can get the benefit out of that, that the program that uh, NRCS is providing. I think it's a really good idea. You know, the, the big part is, you know, yeah, we're raising animals, but we're also teaching uh, our children uh, a different lifestyle. If we can all save some water, we can share what's left. I think benefits everybody. Mother Earth is our mother and we got to keep it clean and then we got to keep our business going and we got to improve our business by taking care of the land and all, all the vegetation that's growing on it. Those who don't have any idea what's about it, I encourage you to find out. Go to your nearest in RCS office. They'll tell you all the things that you need to know. They'll tell you all the things that you can do and how you can do it and how they can help you. Natural resources within the Navajo Nation is responsible for overseeing the land through 11 different programs such as agriculture, ranching, farming, minerals development, archaeology, and other disciplines. And one of the most important industries on the Navajo Nation is agriculture, farming, raising livestock. Here's an opportunity that we've, I think we've created through our management here in the Nahua Nation working with the NRCS. We've established a uh, partnership where NRCS and the Nahua Nation are working together through our Department of Agriculture and through their programs at the community level where all the families are and the producers. So I really encourage us to continue to work toward that in stewardship and also development of our properties. I work with NRCS Natural Resource Conservation Service within the United States Department of Agriculture. Our focus is to help private and tribal landowners to help them with their conservation practices. We got offices all across the America, including uh, the Navajo Nation. And I'm here in the Anath office uh, where we have a field office. Uh, I'd like to also include the other Navajo Nation service center. One is in Monticello and, and the others in New Mexico area, Shiprock, Crown Point, Gallup. Then we have it in Arizona, Kienta, Chinle, St. Michael's, Delcon, Gap. We got a lot of uh, employees that can help you within these offices. They all work in different areas range management, engineers, agronomists, uh, soil conservationists. They can help you with this plan. Uh, they all do and uh, also if we need to have land survey or any a number of those things, those, uh, those people can help you out of these offices that I name. If you ask us to come out, we will assess your land and your resource concerns, but it'll be up to you to be able to do this, to invite us and tell us what your resource concerns are. And we need to emphasize one thing is that you need to be part of this, the initial phase of it, where you need to understand that we need to develop a conservation plan. We need to get it on paper. I know uh, as being a Navajo, even myself, I have a hard time of putting it down on paper. Congress has given us a conservation program that will help you. And we have information in our offices that has brochures and, uh, and also a website. 
Now we would like for you to see some of these producers from the Navajo Nation, how they use the farm bill programs. NRCS program is something that uh, I don't think uh, anybody was aware of in the past when we first started. And I'm talking about back in the 70s. So uh, to me, I think uh, we might be the first lucky people to uh, apply for a project at that time and then it was approval for us and we ran a, a cross fence about uh, two miles. So with the help of the, the staff and all this from the USDA Natural Resource uh, Office from right now we're working for grants and uh, we developed this place now we have uh, seven pastures now. So that's a great, great step for us and it's a great step for other people to look into it. I think there's something that uh, we shouldn't uh, let it die down. And we need to dream something every day what our next project will be. You know, as you walk along, you could see certain terrains, certain places. Says, I, want, I wonder, what would it be like if this place is like this? What would it be like if we put a dam here? What would it be like if we uh, get rid of all these uh, brushes, get all these un unwanted brushes? I wonder what will happen. What will happen if I put a fence here? I wonder what will happen if I fix a, a well or something like that, you know? And now, that's when wholeheartedly I can say, and I'm proud to say, and I'm not really uh, holding back anything, RCS brought the, uh, the whole dream into all this area because they are willing to help. And we think a lot of the uh, NRCS staff because they come out day or night, they come out and uh, work with us. And we know where their office is at, we visit them anytime. They always welcome us, so they're easy to work with and they're friendly to work with them. I want to welcome everybody to my community. Uh, we're from the Gari'ai community, which is right west along the San Juan River in Shiprock, New Mexico. We used to have the old traditional irrigation system here, where it was all open ditch, and then we had to uh, manually irrigate, and it was very, very, uh, very, very tough to do, especially like five or ten acres that we have back here. It was very inefficient. And it took us almost a week just to irrigate. And then we heard of this program that NRCS was uh, providing, the EQIP program. And then we've seen, we've seen these white pipes at other locations. So we said, let's look into it. Because anything we do to help make life easier and then uh, produce more products and get the land back into production, I said, that would really help. So we went ahead and started working with the local office. Uh, there's many, uh, several important steps along the way that we had to do. Of course, you have to start with an application. You have to find, you know, tell the representative where your farm is. Then there's some uh, requirements, like you have to have a, a farm, and farm permit. You have to have been in at least some sort of farming situation for a while and we were able to satisfy those requirements. Beyond that, one of the requirements by NRCS is that, who, that the recipients of the grant has to either match in kind with labor or dollar wise towards the completion of this project, the total cost. If you get all the front end work, everything is done, you can get up to 30% upfront money. And I know that's very helpful because you can get some of this material ordered, you can get some of your contracting done with that front end money. My wife and I, we do appreciate, you know, the program we think is a very good program. And if there's any way we can help, we don't mind uh, because we went through first hand from A to Z and very forms all the way through the design, the archeological, we went through the, the procurement, construction, 
finishing, getting the payments all taken care of, and that was it. The last thing that we I want to touch on is that uh, this NRCS funding is this not free money? The contract says you have to do this this way, so you have to follow the rules. We went through the extra steps of getting this to where it works because I wanted to show my neighbors that we could actually improve. Right now, if you look at the land here, the last, the latest figure I have is only about 35% of the farms in this area is being used. Our feeling, my wife and I, was that if we can put something together and show people that you can actually do this, we hope that more and more people would resume farming. And if we can do that, Maybe we can encourage younger generations to get to get into farming, to, to utilize the land and the water, because there's a lot of enjoyment in that. If you're interested in applying conservation practices on your land, then you need to come and see someone with the Natural Resource Conservation Service, like me. Uh, we offer the Environmental Quality Incentive Program, or EQIP, to help you with uh, technical and financial assistance and applying conservation practices on your land. First of all, you'll have to make application for our program. There are several forms that we have to fill out, and then after we get the, the forms filled out, then we will set up an appointment, go out to your ranch, and then we'll begin an inventory process. The inventory process involves inventorying the resources that are out there, and then after we inventory the resources, we'll help, it'll help us determine what the resource concerns are out there. And then we will look at the conservation practices that we can use to solve those resource concerns. Um, and then we'll develop a conservation plan. After the conservation plan is uh, organized and put together, and it's something that you're willing and able to do, then we will go into a contractual arrangement. And we will specify the type of conservation practices to be installed, when they're to be installed, uh, how much technical financial assistance you'll receive, and, uh, and we'll go from there. After that, you have most of the responsibility of obtaining the materials, the labor, the equipment to install those conservation practices. Um, after they're installed, then uh, we will have to apply management practices, which will be included in your conservation practices and based upon how well you do with your management practices, we will see in the future how we have addressed the resource concerns that we're working on. Blue sky shining, birds are flying, and at night, stars are gleaming bright. Why won't you take my hands and come home with me? To Navajo land, ay oh, hey, ay oh, hey, ay oh, ay oh, ha, na, oh, way, oh, oh, way, ha, ya, eh, hey, ya, ya, eh, ho, oh, ho, way, ya, ya, eh, ho, way, ha, ya, oh, ho, ya, eh, ha, ya, oh, ho, way, oh, way. Ah ha yo hey hey yo hey hey yo hey hey yo